Hello everyone. Um, this week we are going to be starting a two-part lesson. So this week will be part one of Molas and next week will be part two. Um, so I'm excited to show you today about um, some art called Molas. Um, this is art from the indigenous people um, called the Guna from what is now Panama. Um, they lived in Panama forever. <laughs> They're originally from there and um, had to deal with a lot of changes when um, Spain came in and decided that they wanted Panama. Um, so the molas are um, like symbols and uh, animals that they sew into their clothing and um, they're a big symbol of their culture and um, of the people. And um, Panama actually banned um, the Guna people from wearing this clothing. Um, but the Guna people, they fought back and they resisted against um, the people that were trying to not let them be themselves and show their culture. And now um, they are, <laughs> of course, free to wear their clothing. It's a big symbol of celebration um, of this culture and so I'm so excited um, to share the story with you and these beautiful, beautiful designs. So what we're going to be doing today is um, making a butterfly in the Mola style. Um, so you can follow along with me to make this butterfly. We're first going to start with a big arc at the top of your paper, your paper should be horizontal. At the bottom, we're gonna add another arc, but the other way, a big letter U. Then in between, we are going to add a wiggly line. So on one side, it's gonna go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And the same on the other side. Now this part is optional, but as you can see in the original, um, there are lots of outlines around the figures that are represented in the molas. So I'm adding an outline around mine as well. If you have paper at home, um, cutting paper and stacking it in layers is a really good way to do this project. Um, but I don't have paper at home, so I'm just using um, markers and colored pencils. So use whatever you have. Um, a lot of the shapes in molas are very geometric. Um, so that's why I'm adding squares for the eyes. And I'm going to add um, a big smile because I noticed some of the butterflies have smiles in their work. And a little line for the nose. Uh, at the top of the head, I'm gonna add a spiral, two spirals um, for the antenna, and then two lines for the feelers there. One, two. <laughs> now that I have the body for my butterfly, I need to make my butterfly fly. So I'm gonna add two big wings here. It's the same on both sides. Remember, butterflies are symmetrical, which means they're the same on the left and the right. So I've got a big one and then a small one on the bottom there. There's no wrong way to draw the wings though. You can draw them however you like. Um, and again, just as before, I'm gonna draw another line just around the wing that I drew and connect it. I'm gonna have a little outline where I can add some color in to my butterfly, to my molas. There we go. Uh, once you have your butterfly drawn, it's time to add some patterns. Here are some common ones 
um, that are included in the designs. I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part um, and I'm adding some long oval shapes. Um, when these are traditionally done with fabric, um, the fabric is cut. So all those little shapes are cut out and sewn in layers. Um, but I'm taking <laughs> the easy way out today and I'm just drawing them. Um, so I drew um, lots of different stripes on the wings and um, some zigzag lines. And now I'm going to go through and color it um, with all of the colors that I can find. Um, if you go back and look at um, the molas, you notice there are so many different beautiful rainbow colors. Um, another thing to notice about them is that there's not a lot of blank space. So we really want to fill this up as much as possible. Um, what we are not going to fill up this week is the background. We are going to save that for next week. Um, I think it would be a little bit too much to do all of this design work um, in one day. So I'm going to split it up and do the butterfly today and we will do the background next week. All right, so my butterfly is all done. Good luck, I can't wait to see what you make.